Hello everybody, so in this video I will talk about this. This is this polystyrene based carbon conductive plastic. And this kind of plastic I made several years ago. And the link to this video where I make this kind of plastic will be in the description of this video. So the reason that I make this video about this plastic is because I get a lot of questions about if this conductive plastic can be used for bipolar plates in batteries. And actually my short answer to this is yes, of course. Of course you can use this plastic for the bipolar plates in the batteries. Because this polystyrene based carbon conductive plastic is really nice because if you don't like the shape which you got right now, then you can easily reshape it if you want. With the help of the heat, you can reshape this kind of plastic really, really easily. But instead of using some heat, you can also use some acetone. The acetone actually will not entirely dissolve this kind of plastic, but will dissolve enough that you will be able to reshape it. Or for example, if the plastic is not conductive enough, then in this case you can add some extra conductive material to make it more conductive. And just for example, if the battery which uses this kind of bipolar plates comes to the end of the life, then you just collect these plates and with the help of the heat you can reshape to form a new plate. And the point of this reshaping is that you can use one plate over and over again. And what is also really important to say about this plastic is the chemical resistance. Because this one, I mean this plastic will resist some sulfuric acid, some citric acid, formic acid, ammonia, also some sodium hydroxide and some potassium hydroxide. But in the other hand, some acetone or gasoline will destroy it. So, really nice. And now I will make some demonstration with this one. And first of all, I will measure the resistance of this polystyrene based carbon conductive plastic. And in this plastic I use 20% of conductive material. On this distance I get 12 ohms. Not bad. And 25 ohms I get from one corner to another. Really nice. The another cool stuff which you can make with this plastic is electroplating. And here I have one piece which I already electroplate. So this piece of this conductive plastic I put into this one mole of copper sulfate for 20 minutes and I get really nice electroplated piece. So actually you can electroplate this kind of plastic really, really easily with some copper, nickel or even zinc. And now what I will do is into this plastic I will insert this stainless steel mesh. So with the help of the heat I will press this stainless steel mesh into this plastic which can be done really, really easily. And with this combination of this conductive plastic and this stainless steel mesh, I will get really nice current collector or some bipolar end plates. Here I have some backing paper. First, I will add the plastic and on the top of this plastic, I will put this stainless steel mesh.
and with this iron I will press down really really hard Okay, I need to press a little bit more harder, but you get the point. I will try one more time. So with a little bit more press, the entire stainless steel mesh will go into this plastic. <laughs> and you can see it's really tough. to get this stainless steel mesh done from this plastic. So guys, this was some little demonstration about uh, this plastic which is really easily made. Uh, the link to this video will be in the description like I said in the beginning of this video. And yeah, so guys, that's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.